then, according to the words sent out by King Darius, Tatanai, the governor of the province beyond the river, and Shethar Bozani and all their associates did with all diligence what King Darius had ordered. So the elders of the Jews built and prospered through the prophesying of the prophet Haggai and Zechariah son of Edo. They finished building by command of the God of Israel and by decree of Cyrus, Darius, and King Artaxerxes of Persia. So the building of this house was finished on the third day of the month of Adar in the sixth year of the reign of King Darius. The Israelites, the priests, the Levites, and all the returned exiles celebrated the dedication of this house of God with joy. They offered at the dedication a hundred bulls, 200 rams, 600 lambs, and 12 male goats, according to the 12 tribes of Israel. Then they set the priests in their divisions and the Levites in their courses for the service of God at Jerusalem, as it's written in the book of Moses. On the 14th day of the first month, the returned exiles kept the Passover, for the priests and the Levites had purified themselves and all were clean. They killed the Passover lamb for the returned exiles and also for their fellow priests and for themselves. It was eaten by all those of Israel who had returned from the exile, as well as those who had joined them, who had separated themselves from the pollutions of the nations of the land to celebrate Yahweh, the God of Israel. With joy, they celebrated the festival of the unleavened bread for seven days, for the Lord had made them joyful and had turned the heart of the king of Assyria toward them so that he aided them in the work on this house of God, this God of Israel. <laughs>